My family originate from District 6. I started working straight out of school. I joined the family business. At the end of the day, you could actually see what you had done. You knew whether you had actually made a profit or whether you had wasted your day. Unity. From a young age, my father very often used his hand and said, if you're not united, it's easy to bend. And if you're united, it closes fist and so very difficult to bend. Unity is strength. I came from a hard-working family. After my father had passed away, we worked together as brothers and we invested together as a family. Shaheen had this vision and idea that he had to do whatever he could to help his siblings. And he, with his mother, worked very hard to provide them education. There was huge racism on the campuses in South Africa, in line with apartheid. And both Adam and Nazim broke down those walls. We didn't give up. We didn't say that we didn't have boots. We didn't say that we didn't have a field. We had the tenacity to put our heads down and to achieve. It was inevitable that the three of them would build Oasis into the proudly South African company that it is. After 94, the mood of the country was very optimistic. brought to the market a concept that was novel. Sharia literally means the way. It's the way to live in accordance with uh, the will of the Almighty. Under Sharia law, you cannot invest in certain types of industries which go against the, the teachings of Islam. Any transaction which uh, receives interest or pays interest is considered uh, forbidden in Sharia. It was incumbent on ourselves, having given this gift, and to take Sharia compliant investing to society and bring it down to the ordinary man in the street. It gave you a way to grow your money using your belief structure, which was never something available to Muslims before. The banks really didn't offer us any other alternatives. I heard the advert on the radio and I phoned Adam and he came to see me at my house. Something in me said, I have, you know what, this is the right guy and this way I'm going to, the little I had, I'm going to put my money in. They were doing the right thing in terms of Sharia investing and ethical investing. I decided to invest some money with them. My late dad was so excited and so um, proud of the fact that Adam and, and the rest of the Ibrahim family could come up with this concept of something which the community has been yearning for. People tend to be suspicious of new companies and, and how they would perform. Our board was a very diverse one. They were all unanimously impressed with Adam. We were probably one of the first institutions that invested some money with Oasis. 13 years ago, we introduced to Oasis. We started with 11, 11 million. It gained so much that we decided now we should put all the money with Oasis. Now it became 25 million. Allah, Allah. We have a yearly operation called Operation Winter Warmth.
for those few who actively participated by investing in the Crescent Fund. If the person invested 10,000 Rand on the 1st of August 1998, that 10,000 Rand would be worth 28,300 Rand. It is a great pleasure standing in front of you today and it's even greater pleasure standing up in front of you on the left with my mother present. It's the first visit to Ireland. The Oasis Funds were set up in Dublin in 2003. The Irish authorities similarly have gotten on board with it and they now actually have specialist Sharia teams within the Central Bank of Ireland that are familiar with the, the concepts of Islamic finance. not only one who has a South African outreach, but a global outreach. Oasis has been on the scene for some time, but it has exploded onto the South African situation. What 2003 had done was it put South Africa on the map. Sport is a great way of getting to people, so we chose to support rugby. Our supporters expect only one thing, and that's winning. Our core business is development of human capital. It's all about people, and to ACE stands for that too. Over 10 years, over 50 years, over 100 years, there are going to be periods of rising markets and periods of falling markets. So we need to really understand that and ado adopt an approach to deal with that. They don't just sit back and you know, wait for 10 years to go by or 5 years to go by. I talk nearly more to Adam than I talk to my wife. <laughs> he is a hands-on investor as well. Our job as Oasis is to ensure when we're exposing our wealth to risk, we minimize that risk and we maximize that return. It's really about excellence in performance and excellence in uh, and delivering a world-class service. For those who had come in in 1997 and then with the launch of the Christian Fund Trust, every one of them have had a very positive experience with Oasis. We had invested in 2002, in June 2002, 250,000. At the moment, after 10 years, it is standing on 1,072,000. They are growing from strength to strength, and so am I. The introduction to Oasis, introduction to Adam Ibrahim, has literally meant a transformation in my life and in, in the life of my family. How many people have been able to send their kids to good schools? I bought myself a second property and I've travelled four times to uh, the Holy Land. Through Oasis we are on a very sound financial footing. If I had more money I would have put all my money with him. Seeing people's lives improve was probably a lot, lot more satisfying and meaningful to us. Success breeds success and so as they got better at it and as they improved the returns we gave them more and more money. Oasis isn't only our family, Oasis is all the wonderful individuals who work here and who are part of this awesome team. From our transfer agency to the investment administration, it's all done in-house. Here you are given the opportunity not only to make a difference in the lives of uh, ordinary clients, but also in the life of the business and the direction that the business grants you. You see yourself going forward. You see yourself making an impact. Because these guys do have a vision. They want to see themselves somewhere, and they're working towards that vision. All of us 
feel part of a bigger family. We belong here. We've grown into a greater family than only the Ibrahim family. We've grown, really grown into our Oasis family. At Oasis, after 10 years, we built a business in excess of 30 billion under management. We have 35,000 clients in three continents. We will navigate our way through this like we've done before and prosper in a tough environment. When the shares crashed, yes, sir. Yes, there was definitely concern. The advice that was given to us from Oasis was um, these type of investments are medium to long term investments. Uh, you, need, you need to sit it out. I've never seen Oasis panic. Let's put it that way. Even though we had global recession, we still came out much better than the other investing companies. We needed to stand back and say, OK, eventually there's going to be economic activity that brings uh, um, the economy back to equilibrium. What is Sharia investment? It's about creating equilibrium, equity. It's supported by hard assets. You have to be ethical. So when you take all of those factors into account, um, then you actually have a very, very low risk operating opportunity. What we are really telling people is that don't gamble with your money. Sharia business is good business. It's prudent business. We started with zero assets. Today we have 32 billion rand of client assets. They manage a huge and sizable portfolio of funds uh, for investors, not just local investors, but also overseas investors. The UK is the most attractive destination for foreign direct investment in Europe. Coming to London, I think, is a turning point for the company. Geographic expansion in, in select areas um, is, is a good thing and certainly can take the company to the next level. What we are seeing is people coming from emerging markets and other countries to a global financial centre that, like London and bringing unique expertise with them. They know markets in Africa, they know markets in the emerging world and there are no markets in the world at large. I believe we still need to explore a lot of markets. We are going to go in, in further more jurisdictions. From those humble beginnings in South Africa, the company has grown and it has truly become a global company. It goes back to the fundamental values that were instilled into Adam and his brothers. The nice part of Oasis is the amount of effort we put in in giving back to society. As Muslims, I mean, we are taught and we are brought up to, to, to obviously share. And what a wonderful way to start this week by working towards helping those who are underprivileged. infrastructure that many generations will continue to enjoy. The history of my family was to do right. 
the right thing. The value system that we incorporated in Oasis is the Abraham family value system. What I'd like to just pass on to the next person is take advantage of what you've been given, maximize it, and enjoy yourself.